is down. It's game time here on Long Island. New York trying to win its third game in a row. And Aaron Ambrose will send it ahead for Montreal. Carpenter wins the draw back to the point and Rock has a shot that goes wide and behind the net. Rock picks up a loose puck. Goes into the corner. And Montreal will skate away with it. Here's Laura Stacy. Claire Dalton with her. Corey Chevry shaking up the lines tonight for Montreal. She didn't just shake him up, she blew him up. <laughs> Very coy on the call with us yesterday. Yeah, we got a couple of changes we might make. We'll have to see it. She's a competitor. Through and through. And here we go, Vanashova playing now with Maureen Murphy. Murphy behind the net. Tried the shot, it was blocked in front, and now Vanashova will catch up to it on the other corner. And Kristen O'Neill feeds the point. Now V takes a shot, it was blocked on the way. A couple of early chances for both teams, and we've got a penalty coming. Levy will skate to the bench as Rock Gets it back into her own zone to buy some time. Get some fresh legs on the ice for New York with the extra attacker. A turnover, though, but they're offside. Meanwhile, New York has certainly come to life lately on the power play. Second best in the league, thinking at 21.4 percent. I asked Coach Dre before the game as we were standing there about his power play. I said, I love watching your power play. It's a lot of station to station until you can find the lane that you want. And he said, we're excited about our power play. We like to watch it. We just want to make sure we get more pucks to the front of the net, get the pucks to where the goals are, and get a little bit more congestion in front of DVN tonight. Ella Shelton will chase this puck all the way back into her own zone. And try to set up once more. Shelton passes ahead. It's Bourbonnet. Tries to chip it down low. Instead, Downey Landry will take a turn, and it comes out to neutral ice. New York gets it back. Jesse Eldridge back for Shelton. You know what you notice? On entries on the power play, this goes for five on five, especially the power play. If your entry stalls within five feet of the offensive blue line, generally nothing happens. If you if you can pull up, hold up, and create a little closer. Inside. Carpenter takes a shot. She scores! Speaking of which, New York gains the line with speed, and Carpenter is all by herself. Remember we just talked a little while ago about how elite her release is and how well she can snipe from that area, and she does so on the rush. So New York, on a couple of rushes, they don't get across the line. This time, they grab the line with speed. Nice wide kick out to Carpenter, who drives downhill on her wing, and she's not gonna miss from there. She now has seven goals on the season. Was tied for third with Glenn entering the night. Already had the league lead in points at 12, make it 13, and a three-game goal streak as well. What hasn't she done? <laughs> LaBelle carrying in now for New York, trying to add pressure as Davian kicks it aside. LaBelle down low, centering pass attempt. Puck is loose, but Montreal sorts it out. The score on elite level goaltenders like Davian, you gotta get the puck in the bicep areas on both sides. It's one of the hardest areas to defend between the shoulder and the elbow, right around bicep height, because it's it's almost impossible to get a piece of your arm into that space quickly. Aaron Andros sends it deep. Levy plays it back for her teammate. But Laura Stacy is behind the net. Gets it over to Dalton. Stacy helping out, finds Poulin. She rings it around the board, back for Ambrose. Ambrose, back down low. Jamie Bourbonnet catches up to it. Nice passing for New York and a clean exit. Less than three minutes in and New York has struck first on Alex Carpenter's fourth goal in the last three games. Here's Dalton, Poulin with her. Dalton tried the center. Blocked by Shelton. Now a shot from distance and Levy hangs on. Another draw won by New York and quickly it's out to neutral ice. 
Montreal trying to send it right back in. Abby Rock sends it back for Shelton. They notice that faceoff. Carpenter's so good on the left dot. Rock is better on the right dot. Mm. Right in front, there's a chance. Loose puck, and it's sorted nicely by Shelton, who can't. Probably flips it all the way down to the other end of the ice. Last five games, Carpenter is 64% on the dot. Power play now for Montreal as Ambrose tries to walk the blue line. Kept in, but New York now clears it. It's nice to say that whether it be five on four, five on five, because of the depth of the six teams in the league, as the teams have gone on, they've gotten better defending and scoring has just become harder as they've hit the midpoint. The power play scoring has become harder. We talked to Corey Chevry yesterday and about her team's lack of power play success. They are last in the PWHL. She said, I think we're just seeing it across the league that it's easier to kill a penalty than it is to score a power play goal right now. I'll tell you what, they get some really, really good looks. The one thing they haven't gotten is second and third kicks the can after their initial shot, but they have really gotten some nice chances from some decent areas on the ice. They probably want more grade A's, but the ability for them to move the puck around with the skill that they have and get a look to the net has been pretty good. They're just not finishing. Leah Lum will send it ahead for Montreal. Trying to sort something out. They haven't even really ha managed to get any sustained zone time on this power play. And New York's pretty good up ice. Look at that turnover created by Saulnier. Saulnier looking to center, shorthanded. And Montreal able to get it back. Lum sends it over to Dalton. That pass off the mark. Comes back to neutralize. And it's Saulnier in all alone, hurrying up to her very quickly. Montreal able to come away with it. There's what we're seeing from Saulnier that Coach Draper has been so impressed by that he put her on the top line. Ten seconds to go on the power play, and not much doing for Montreal on that one. Turnover there. Bujo has it. Looking for somebody, and right in front, a chance. That shot just high. Lafour gets it back. Sends it to the point. She'll trade places. Laguinier sends one that's blocked. Eldridge bats it over. And here comes New York on the rush. Jay Downey Landry, shot from the circle, blocked on the way. This is another area where I think New York's having a lot of success. They're really good on the forecheck. They forced that turnover. The defenseman went back, got the defense player, got the puck, moved it up the wall. Nice stuff, safe, right? But the second layer coming in was able to pick that puck off and turn it back around. So it's pressure on the D with F1. F2 seals the wall, get a turnover. Marie-Philippe Poulin made a nice move to take the puck away from Alex Carpenter. Montreal now has a chance. Laura Stacy behind the net. Stacy stops up, gets it over to Poulin. Poulin fights off a check, and Carpenter briefly comes away with it. Poulin gets it back, tries to center. It's Stacy. And Sonier again, being a pest out there for New York. Bourbonnet along the boards, and Hobson is sending it the other direction. We'll see if Montreal can take advantage. They win the faceoff, and Dahou sends a shot right in the slot. That one went wide off the stick of Murphy. Bourbonnet locked in a battle in the corner. Big check delivered from Saulnier. She has been the best player on the ice. Great minutes. New York clears the zone. Katie David trying to catch up to it. And you're right. Saulnier just will not let anybody have time or space. Here comes O'Neal. Hands it over. Vanishova tries a shot that goes wide. On most nights, O'Neal's the biggest pest on the ice. Saulnier is going to challenge her <laughs> shift for shift. And they're both really good at what they do. Saulnier actually just played her first game since returning from injury. Miss some time, and Howie Draper certainly happy to have her back in the lineup. Here comes Montreal, off the rush. It's Dubois, takes a shot, gobbled up by Levy.
along the boards now. Bazal sends it down low once more. Montreal is still trying to answer after Alex Carpenter scored the first goal of this game less than three minutes in. When you take a look at the first 10 minutes, think about all the boxes New York has checked. First goal, got a power play, killed a penalty with authority. Everything you want, first 10 minutes of the home game, they have got. And Sophie Bate with the stretch pass that just missed the stick. And it'll be icing once more for Montreal. Scrum for the puck, they get it back to the point, and Zandy Hart slings it across to Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet passing over to Vespa. Vespa sees the point for Zandy Hart. She tries a shot. Damien had to fight off that puck, ends up holding on. Three straight goals, three straight games with a goal for Alex Carpenter. She has been incredible. Boston up 1 nothing. Here's another team looking for some home wins. Yes. Lengthy battle along the boards, and Poulin ends up coming away with it, tries to feed it across to Stacy, And now Dalton banks it along the boards. Jamie Bourbonnet with a stretch pass up ahead for Abby Rock. Abby Rock, cross ice, and a good stick. There, Dalton, and the turnover, Abby Rock with a shot, saved by Davian. Great job by Davian getting to the top of the crease and shortening up on depth. They look right from the slot. Could, Levy paddles aside a loose puck. We call that a goalie gap, and she closed that gap really quick. That was a great piece of goaltending and a great recognition by Davian on that save. And with only two shots per side at this point, it's uncomfortable for a goalie, right, Dave? You you want to touch the puck a little bit more. There hasn't even been a lot of dumpings where the goalies can go out and play them. Corey Chevry joins us. The pace of this game, it seems like both teams don't want to let the other one get on track. What do you need to do to pick that pace up and get behind their D a little bit more? Yeah, I think it's a tight game so far. We definitely need to get to the middle of the ice and bring pucks to the net, but uh, I like what we're seeing so far. Thanks, Corey. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Montreal winning the draw here. Both teams are possession teams. They like to carry pucks. They've got the skill to do it. And I'm wondering at what point each team starts to just deposit some pucks down walls, create some races, and see if they can create some down low, low to high type havoc so they can get the other team's defensive structure turning as opposed to being able to face and front. You're right, both teams locked in a tight, Contested battle so far. We're seeing board battles. They're taking 10 seconds off the clock. <laughs> and that's a lot of energy for those 10 seconds. Right. Laganier able to hold it in for Montreal. Chloe Arard gets it back and sends it over to Ella Shelton. Here comes Jade Downey Landry skating through the neutral zone. Jesse Eldridge with her. She takes a shot from the blue line, gloved and held by Davian. Gray somewhere with Minnesota. There's another play you keep your eye on. Had a real good start, and I think as this season continues, she's going to continue to grow as a player, figuring out the pro game. Shot from Peyton Levis, fought off by Davian. Yeah, Grace Zumwinkle with the historic first hat trick in PWHL history in the home opener for Minnesota. Here comes the four, fought off by Zandy Hart, and Emma Woods comes away with the loose puck. They're offside. See, I touch it there. The last thing I want to do is be scrambling. I'm a big believer. Touch the puck there and start from scratch, as opposed to having to soar it out on the fly where everybody's tentative. Yep. Well, she opted not to. So no offside call. They play on. Katie Saban taken down behind the net. Dau sends it across. They did a good job of not letting Taven get on track. Conversely, Montreal's done a nice job not letting Shelton get running either. But here's a turnover, and Carpenter again with a chance. Always dangerous when she's Oof. on the ice. Somebody that oppo opposing teams will have to start game planning for if they haven't already. Stretch pass from Marie from Poulin. Poulin, hands off to Stacey, a shot saved by Levy. Ahead, it's Rock in all alone. Nobody with her. She's fighting off two Montreal players. 
Stacy will come away with it. And now New York gets it back. Cross ice pass from Packer. Ended up in the States, and here comes David. And there's what those little chippers I was talking about, try to create a race, get a turnover off the four check. Now Montreal can go to work. Sometimes the simple little things like that can get the floodgates to open up. Back to the point, it's Leah Lum. She sends one that is blocked by Packer, and here comes Madison Packer. Packer sends the cross for Vespa. Back to Packer, lost in the skates. Packer gets it back, leaves the bell. Vespa behind the net. Out for Baker. Vespa gets it back, sends it over to LaBelle. Tried to center, nobody home in the slot. And that fourth get it, get it, get it, get line has really it. impressed Coach Draper. Savannah Norcross out of the lineup normally on that fourth line. Madison Packer and company have certainly played their role and held up their end. You know, a lot of the players have talked about fourth lines, maybe fourth lines in a number only, but a lot of the fourth lines could be seconds or thirds on most teams with the skill level that's on them. Here comes Montreal, it's a two on one. Vanishova, Murphy with her, and Murphy can't collect the pass. Murphy tries to get it down low. O'Neal fighting through a check. Hands it off to Murphy. Murphy centering feed, and Vanishova couldn't catch up to it. Murphy again. Up to the point. Keppel can't, does hold indeed, actually. And now it'll come out to the neutral zone. Montreal showing a bit of a start here late in the first period. Nearly 16 minutes gone. And Keppel and Ambrose, two and 23, the late jerseys are on the ice. Montreal tends to generate offense. They are great at extending offense from zone time. They're sure-handed, they're calm, they're poised. They won't give pucks away. York not giving much away either. Here's Bate. Bate looking for a pass right in front. Too many bodies, loose pucks still there. And Dahu, now a shot that just went wide by Tabin. Peyton Levis chipping away, trying to break it free. LaFour instead feeds the point. Now Dahu sends one on Ned, and Levy decides to hang on. Two of the best in Carpenter and Glenn on the dot. Plenty of international competition between those two as well. Carpenter proudly representing Team USA and Poulin. Captain Clutch for Team Canada. Mariah Keppel sorts it out nicely. Feeds the head for Poulin. Laura Stacy just took a big hit along the boards from Abby Rock. You know, she talked about this. Stacy talked about the physical play in the league. The players really like it. But it took everybody a couple of games. and. After games one and two, everybody in the locker room looked around at each other like, wow, <laughs> hitting's unbelievable. Abby Rock thought about a shot instead, off to the pass, it goes into the skates of a Montreal player. And Laura Stacy collects behind her own net. Here's Aaron Ambrose, looking ahead. Pass for Jillian Dempsey. Dempsey crunched along the boards by Emma Woods and we're gonna get a penalty. We just talked about the physical play, and this time Woods gets into Dempsey near the boards, and it'll be a boarding penalty. So Dempsey pulls up, and Woods follows through, and that's the cause. So when you're that close to the wall, it's really incumbent upon the player delivering the hit not to overdo it, follow through, and violently move a player towards the wall. We win the draw here, though, and we try to go to work with just two and a half to go in the period. Poulin, 29, once she gets herself up to the left point, there's a left shot where she can really drive down with speed. That's the key to watch. Ambrose, a long drive. Deflected wide on the way. They get it back, and Vanishova looks for a lane. Dubois leads it across for Poulin. Spins off a body, and Ambrose leads it over to Vanishova. Fans on the shot. Vanishova works to get it back. Lengthy battle. It looked like a high stick, no call. Back to the point for Ambrose. She slings it across for Poulin. Vanishova up for Ambrose. Ambrose looking for a lane. Vanishova drive, save under the chicken wing of Levy. Good save by Levy in a tough spot. 
And she's able to do it. And Buttrell moves the puck around. We talk about some good looks. Boulin is out here. And she makes a lot of things happen just with the presence of moving around. Back, forth, up by the blue line, drive downhill. Because you have to keep an eye on her and eliminate her off the flank, it opens up some space opposite side, and Montreal takes advantage of it. New York wins the draw, and Abby Rock sends it the length of the ice. 90 seconds to go here in the opening frame. Not a goal since less than three minutes in when Carpenter made it 1-0. Glenn carries in for Montreal. Stops up. Tried to beat Ambrose. She was taken down. It's a short end of chance for Abby Rock. Boulin trying to catch her. Rock off her backhand and a save from Damien. Another pass is scored! And who else but Alex Carpenter with her second of the period? This is a tremendous read by Rock. As Poulin enters the zone, Rock jumps the route. See it right there, 11, and Green jumps the route, forces a hot pass, and Ambrose couldn't handle the hand grenade that she got handed, so Rock goes the way. Now, not giving up on the play, Carpenter sets herself up on the top of the slot, and Rock with a great job on the retrieval. Doesn't stop on the play, misses the net, or Damian makes the save, Rock retrieves and creates goal number two. Dynamic duo between Rock and Carpenter. New York with a late goal and an early goal this period to make it 2 0. A momentum shift time of the period, especially with Montreal on a power play. They lose the extra attacker and give up a goal at the same time. And that's a little bit of a kick in the shorts for Montreal. A true penalty kill. As both players go to the ice. You see some rough stuff. Emma Woods. Got Ruby, got Ruby here. Get it, get it. To uh, Bujo. Icy Woods is tonight. Gotta be careful, already has one penalty taken on the night. The four, the rings are around the boards. 20 seconds to go, and here comes New York once more. Two on two. Woods streaking toward the net. JBN fought that off. Ten! Another chance at the side of the net for Peyton Levis. She's taking five, that line. Final seconds tick away, they get a clear. New York leads 2-0 after one. We're joined by Laura Stacy. Laura, tough start to this period, a tough end to the period as well. What do you guys have to clean up in the second? Yeah, to be honest with you, I thought we actually had a pretty good period. Obviously, that's not the result we wanted. We don't want to be going down 2-0, but uh, we've been here before. We're going to battle back. Uh, some five-on-five pl five play out there was awesome. Uh, so we got to keep rolling with that. we got to keep getting pucks to the net getting traffic to the net, and we got to find one here to, to get this back uh, to a tie game. When it comes to the pace of the game, you talk about having a good start, but when it comes to the pace, is there something you want to do in period number two to try to get this into more of a track meet to suit your speed? Yeah, for sure. I think getting pucks out along our blue line so that we can have some uh, odd man rushes, and then uh, once we do get it to their blue line, getting it deep, battling them down low, taking pucks to the net, uh, keeping it simple and, and, and being a gritty team out there too. So uh, obviously it's not the result we want in the first, but to be honest, we got we got to take some uh, really big positives from that and come out with the heart in the second period. You and I talked a little bit last night about the line that you're playing on tonight and, and how you like the chemistry of this line. How's it looked in period number one for you? Yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, they're two great players, a lot of skill when they have the puck on their stick and when they don't. So uh, definitely looking for them out there. And I think we had a great start. We got to uh, kind of put that behind us, put that behind us. Sorry, uh, keep going here and uh, keep gelling and hopefully something uh, will go in the back of the net for us. Thanks so much for the time, Laura. Good luck in the second. Thank you so much. Laura Stacy said she liked a lot of what she saw from her team in the first period. See if they can turn that into some goals here in the middle frame. No, I think for Montreal, get a four check established, get some pucks in low, get some pucks in the front of the net, create some battles, get a little grease going. Uh, I think for them, a couple things just to get the heart rate pounding. Probably a good thing to start a period early here on the road. Right, Keppel sends a shot that deflected on the way but was blocked out in front. Abby Rock comes away with it with speed. Loose puck. And a trip there. No call with the call coming. Montreal. Extra attacker coming onto the ice as Maureen Murphy feeds the point for O'Neill. Murphy back to the point. Oh, oh, Couldn't oh, 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 oh. keep it in. It's Zahu. And Montreal will have to set up once more. 
There's the whistle, penalty coming. At the end of the period, Corey Chevery was in a heated discussion with one of the officials and I had a feeling it had something to do with a roughing penalty that wasn't called in front of the Montreal bench. And sometimes when you're working officials, a play like that, even though it's a penalty anyway, becomes a mandatory call for the referee to make. So Montreal with a, another opportunity at a power play, and as we talked about in period number one, New York's been good on the PK, and for Montreal, Poulin with a unique role of not only starting on the draws, but then shifting back towards the point to run things on the left side. Moves the draw back for Ambrose. Ambrose goes down low. Stacy Fan on a pass attempt. And New York trying to clear it out. Montreal keeps it alive. Slung across for Poulin. Looking for a lane, goes down low for Stacy. Aaron Pass and Ellis Shelton will bring it around the board, but held in by Vanishova. And Ambrose takes a shot, saved by Levy. Vanishova back for Ambrose. Across now for Poulin. Poulin goes cross sides. Ambrose, top of the slot. Poulin down low for Stacy. Back for Ambrose. He's over to Vanishova and a block. A save made by Levy. Good zone time as Poulin thought about a shot, now takes it, it's blocked. What a shift for LaBelle. Aggressive on the PK. Poulin, another shot, and it just goes wide off the glass. Another chance in front. Back to the point, Poulin. Over to Ambrose. Ambrose takes a shot that goes wide. Levy seals off the short side. Puck is loose in harm's way. Long shift for the defense Long here. Long shift for these penalty killers. Poulin. Over to Ambrose. Stacy winds up and fires in a save for Levy. What a power play opportunity for Montreal. Nothing to show for it. But Ambrose now top of the slot. Thought about a shot. Looks to pass. Fresh legs on the ice, Maureen Murphy, a drive, pad save, Levy. Ella Shelton fights to stay on her feet, Bellman will finally get it, and finally a clear for New York. Power play over for Montreal. Still pressing here in the Ozone. Downey Landry, out of the box, here she comes. Montreal strips the puck, but not out. Alex Carpenter back on the ice. She's down low. Dalton picks it up for Montreal and flips it ahead. Now it's Andy Hart. We'll feed Abby Rock. Abby Rock carries in for New York. It's the pass. Carpenter shot just wide of the net. Great job on the back check by Montreal as they track back and take out the stick of Carpenter. Solid play by Daoud. Mere inches from a hat trick, and we're just a few minutes into the second period. Now a drive from Baker, loved and held by Davian. Montreal wins the faceoff in the D zone. O'Neal will now skate it back. The turnover here, and New York sends it deep. Like I said, Keller is a defender. He's a great player to watch. If you get a chance to watch Boston, they are, they are worth the watch. One of the great players in the game, Hillary Knight, the captain. Emma Woods tried to feed the point, but Hobson couldn't hold, and she'll have to chase it all the way back into her own end. It's interesting watching Hillary Knight transform herself into a power forward, and she's really done a nice job of it. And Jaguar carrying in for New York, leaves for Downey Landry a shot, fought off of the blocker. Montreal, plenty of good looks on that power play, but now 0 for 3 on the night with the advantage. LaBelle, two huge block shots, and Vespa, Tanner Green, did a great job eliminating Poulin and getting open. Mariah Keppel takes it away from Jesse Eldridge, but not out. Instead, Jimmy Arard was sending deep, and Jesse Eldridge tried to center. Good stick by Montreal. And that shot just deflects wide. Jesse Eldridge tried to get it back. It's Downey Landry taking it to the net. Eldridge. Looks for a lane, feeds the point. Fresh legs on the ice, it's Bellman. 
Back and forth we go. Now a good shift for New York. A lot more trench warfare here in period number two than there was in period number one. Period number one, teams are trying to make a lot of plays. The teams are trying to gain on rush. Now we're getting into a little bit of gritty. Now Saulnier off her backhand, tried to feed her teammate Carpenter. Couldn't connect. Rock sends it down low for Saulnier. Taken away by Montreal. Boris Stacy carrying in with speed. Poulin catching up to her, leaves for Poulin. Poulin makes a move off her backhand and a nice save by Levy. Competition so intense night in and night out. The number of one goal games, overtime wins that we've had. It's this league great to watch on any given night. There's no easy nights, and that's the beauty of the league. New York tries to come back with a chance here. Poulin strips the puck from Alex Carpenter, and she's off to the races. Stacy with her. Here's Stacy in with speed. Gets a shot off off her back end, sealed off by the pad of Abby Levy. Real good chase by the New York defense, too. And here comes New York. Saulnier tried to get it. It was caught in her skates. Back and forth we go. Here's that track meet style you were talking about with Montreal. Bujo gets the pass down low. Tried the short side, ends up going behind the net. And Abby Rock takes it away. His tempo has picked up here in the middle part of the second period. Abby Rock, and now a shot that just went high off the glass. You know our defensive back played for the Raiders named Lester Hayes, used to have all those interceptions. Like Abby Rock is playing the same, <laughs> she has picked off more passes tonight, and she's been great at it, unbelievable anticipation. We've got a whistle here. It's like a penalty coming. And I believe it's going to be contact in the head. Laura Stacy with a great chance. She drives wide. She has made a living this year in driving wide, going behind the net, and coming out and stopping. This time she had open ice to come to the front of the net. Look at the track back by the New York defense as Hobson stayed with her. New York going on the power play, contact in the head on the four, and the New York power play has already struck goal tonight with Carpenter's goal. One for one on the power play tonight. Just the one shot. But like you said, it was gold off the stick of Carpenter. Made it one nothing less than three minutes in. They'll go to work once again. Emma Woods sends it down low. Tried the short side. It was right there in front and Davian covers up. So what New York is trying to do, it's called the jam play. As the puck moves up here, watch the player low. Stop it right here for a second. This player right here, the idea is to get it here, spin around and drive the net, roll it. Pass down, turn, and throw it to the front of the net. Montreal defended really well there, preventing the grease pan chance. Sandy Hart, hands it across. Emma Woods going down low for Jaguar. Jaguar trades places with Sandy Hart. Sends it over to Sandy Hart. Sandy Hart from the circle takes a shot. Davian got a piece, and Montreal gets a clear. Talking to Howie Draper earlier today, and we brought up that jam play component, and it brought up a big smile to his face. And it's a play that I'm seeing a lot more of at the NHL level here in this league and around hockey. Isabella Shelton in with speed. Shots just about even to this point. And a shot from Jaguar. Tidden is by Majo. Wide open net. Jaguar couldn't catch up to the puck. Great looks for this New York power play. Shelton and Bourbonnet trade spots. Abby Rock leaves for Shelton. Shelton spins off. Feeds Rock at the point. Thought about a shot, sends it over to Shelton the drive. Blocked on the way, and Montreal chips it off the glass and out. Here comes a short and a chance for Marie Philippe Land. Stops up, shoots, saved by Levy. <laughs> the four was halfway out of the box. Watching this breakaway start. As Montreal chips it off the wall, Poulin comes in. Wonderful job. Changes the angle of the shot completely. And Levy with a great save as she stays with it. The size of Levy, look where she is. Out on top of the crease, gets the big glove out there and snaps it. But great job by Poulin to change the angle to create a more dangerous opportunity. He's crafty, one of the best on the ice at all times. Speaking of, here's Alice Carpenter working in with speed. Goes behind the net. Hands it off to Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet a centering chance. 
It was paddled aside by Davian. Now Bourbonnet at the point. Down low for Rock. Still some time on the power play here for New York. Final five seconds. Shelton. Across for Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet brings it around the boards for Carpenter down low. Right in front, it's a shot that just missed. Bourbonnet a drive. Blocked in front, and the power play is over. Now Bourbonnet tried to make a move, sorted nicely by LaFour. Back up top for Zandy Hart. Just past the midway point of this game. It's a 2-0 lead for New York. Madison Packer on the ice feeds Hobson. And now off her backhand, what a shot from LaBelle. Saved. Chaos in front of the net, it stays out. Now a shot for Vespa, sealed off by Debian. New York wins the draw, but it comes out to the neutral zone. Debian behind her own net to play it. Calmly aside for Lum. She sends it ahead for O'Neal. O'Neal tries to find Vanashova. Vanashova catches up to the pass. Tries to fight through a check. Taken down. And Laganier feeds Lum with a drive. Saved by Levy. Levy's been so good with the glove tonight. Glenn wins another draw back to Stacy. Stacy. And a quick shot from Dalton. Fought off by the pad of Levy. Tabin goes down low. Stacy right in front of the net. Sealed off by Levy. Back to the point for Dau. Able to hold it in just barely. Abby Rock comes away with the puck, slings it across. Now Debian behind her own net to play it. And by the way, this is a special game for Abby Levy. First time starting, now a chance and a turnover for Ella Shelton. Shelton the drive that's blocked. First time starting at UBS Arena for Abby Levy. New York native. Here comes Dalton, her shot just wide. And Levy actually grew up a big Islanders fan. Her parents met at an Islanders game. She even got a chance to ride in the Zamboni as a toddler. <laughs> That's how big an Islanders fan we're talking to, Dave. So a full circle moment yeah, she, for Abby Levy. And she's been super now. We talk about catching the puck, tracking the puck, shin to follow, head trajectory. Look how she looks the puck right to her glove. And holds on to a nice job. If you're in Montreal, you might remember the old movie, Bill Durnham. Now, he is way before yours in my time. <laughs> but Bill Durnham was like the first ambidextrous goal. And you're talking about sometimes the catch glove becomes the second yeah. blocker. And he was able to do that. He kept switching hands, oh, no. depending on which hand he wanted to hold a stick with. We've got an injured player. It's Jade Downey Landry gingerly stepping off the ice to the New York bench. Keep an eye on that. And she's heading towards the tunnel. Montreal with Pate, her shot, saved by Levy. With the rosters the way they are, teams can ill afford any kind of injury. They do have reserve players available to be signed. One of those reserve players playing for Montreal now on a standard player agreement. Talking about Catherine Dubois, she's number 28 on the ice. Initially a reserve, but signed after impressing everybody. She makes a lot happen. She goes to the front of the net, plays with her stick down, can play a real heavy, hard game. And when you watch Montreal on film, she tends to show up in a lot of offensive chances. Here's Laganier taking it in with speed. Two on one if they hurry. David tried to find Laganier, sorted nicely by Bourbonnet. They get it back. Dempsey falling down, tried to get the pass off. Hobson collects for New York. Good shift for the fourth line to Montreal. And there's Dubois trying to make something happen. Dubois gets it back. Laganier holds his own for Montreal. Now it's Dempsey, throws one on that off her backhand, but it goes wide. Dubois gets it back down low. Tries the reverse for David. Brooke Hobson banks it off the glass and it comes all the way back into the Montreal zone. That was almost too many players on the ice. 
We've seen quite a few penalties here so far this evening. There's almost another. Baker can't hold the zone for New York. Chases it down and gets it back. Bouncing puck at the center of the ice. And Poulin tries to catch up to it. Madison Packer. Fighting for possession in the battle along the boards once more. Pops out to Daou. Back for Poulin. Poulin from her knees gets back up and makes the pass. New York has done a really good job five on five and not letting Poulin find open ice to create. Daou slings it across for Tabin. Tabin, a drive. Loose puck. In the skates of Claire Dalton. And now in the corner for Laura Stacy. Poulin with a hat trick her last time in this building. These two teams just feel like they're driving around their respective cities with all the traffic <laughs> that they're dealing with. I and mean, there is no open lanes anywhere. We are right on top of each other and we are going to get a penalty. We do have a power play now for Montreal though. An opportunity for them to get right back in this game. Like a Zandy Hart, the captain, called for roughing. So Montreal will try to get their struggling power play going. Poulin. Little shot pass, it comes back to the point. Ambrose, down to Vanishova, they play catch, and Poulin goes back to Ambrose. Ambrose, looking for a tip from Stacy. Now goes down low for Dubois. Dubois from behind the net, tried to feed Vanishova, couldn't connect. Montreal 0 for 3 on the power play tonight, this their fourth. They did have four shots the last power play alone. Stacy with a drive and she scores! Montreal right back in this game with a power play goal. Wow! Blistering shot, oh my goodness! New York is doing really well here. And all of a sudden, Stacy steps right to where Carpenter loves to shoot from. And holy smokes, what a laser beam. Top of the net. Tons of space. Watch her start to drive downhill on her wing. Uses that long stick, gets a little torque, a little snap, and fires it short side past the glove of Levy, which has been great all night. So Stacy back in back to one. And a goal off the flank on the power play for Montreal. Living Montreal life, it's Vanishova streaking in down low. Trying to feed Murphy, Lawson in her skates, and Peyton Levis comes away with it. Levis plays it ahead. Levis still with it, slings it off her back end, and dangerous right there in front of the net. Jaguar couldn't calm down the pass. Another whistle down low, we've got a high stick. Important face-off win for Montreal. Feeds Poulin. They carry off ice and flip it into the zone. Laura Stacy streaking ahead to catch up to it. Stacy bats it up into the air and back to herself. Taken away by Rock. Now Bourbonet. Turnover. Stacy off her backhand. Just missed the stick of Poulin. Now Zandy Hart. And another. Good forecheck by Laura Stacy. The puck bounces into the Montreal bench. We play on. Montreal with plenty of life as Dubois sends it down low. And David will be the point for Keppel. Keppel slings it across to her D partner. Two minutes and change to go here in the middle frame. Keppel chasing down the loose puck. Falls down momentarily, gets up and feeds David. Good forecheck by New York. And another battle along the boards. Keppel ends up feeding Ambrose. She'll chip it off the glass, he's gloved down for Shelton. At this point, you get the feeling New York just wants to get out of the period without allowing the equalizer. Another great job by Montreal on the line. No space. Ambrose has been really good. She may not be on a scoreboard, but she has been really good defending. And this is an excellent defense pair that Montreal has with her and Keppel. He's a game changer, as is Solnier. Solnier sends one high. 
out of harm's way. Here's Bourbonnet. Saunier got crunched along the board. The puck comes around to Emma Woods. Tried to beat the point, but David takes it away. Catherine Dubois flips it in, and she'll go for a change. A minute to go here in the middle frame. Laura Stacy's power play goal just a few minutes ago has given Montreal life. While New York still clinging on to the two goals from Alex Carpenter. Here's Emma Woods with a shot blocked by David. Puck comes out to Boulin, and they come in on the rush. Here's Boulin, takes a shot, gobbled up by Levy. And another battle along the boards for possession. Time winding down, less than 30 seconds to go. Alex Carpenter back on the ice for New York. Boulin sends it up for Stacy. Stacy streaking to catch up to it. Another lengthy battle along the boards. In the final five seconds will take away Hobson. Gave quite the shove, no call. Hobson and Stacy had a pretty good battle going all night. Alex Carpenter with her seventh and eighth goals of the season has New York up two to one after two. Alex, what was the difference in that second period and how do you maintain the lead going into the third? Yeah, I think uh, special teams is a big part of this game right now. Uh, obviously let up that PK goal, but I think, um, you know, we've played a pretty solid second period in comparison to some of our others. I'm sure the players are sensing it's not a lot of space, not a lot of time. What are some of the things you want to do in period number three to try to open it up and create some space for yourself? Yeah, I think we're looking to get the puck out of our zone quicker, getting it up on the blue lines and challenging their defense. And when you talk about trying to get to the front of the net, your team is really good at scoring goals net front. And I'm thinking that's part of period number three and the plan there. Yeah, definitely always looking to get more pucks to the net. Uh, you know, like you said, we thrive there. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can pot a couple more. Thanks so much for the time. Good luck in the third. Thank you. It's time for the third period. And Boulin wins the opening draw. Ambrose tries to feed it out of her own zone. Poulin brings it across for Keppel. Fresh sheet of ice. And we saw Montreal turn up the tempo on their pace in the second period. We'll see if that continues here early. It's Ambrose. He gets the pass to Poulin, feeds it up for Stacy. Stacy goes down low for Claire Dalton. Pressed along the boards by Baker. Kristen O'Neill keeping the play alive here for Montreal. Keep an eye on, keep an eye on O'Neill, 43 mm. in, in the light jersey. She is dynamic. She's a pest, as we talked about earlier. She's the kind of player who can make a play in the offensive zone across the turnover and create a goal quickly. Okay, Jesse Eldridge, a bit of a bear hug there. Now Ella Shelton comes away with it. Chloe Arard hands it back. Eldridge with a shot. Pad save, Damien. Another chance for Arard. Arard. Side to center for Eldridge. Puck was caught up in the skates of a Montreal player and Maureen Murphy sends it across for David. She rings it around the boards as Ruby comes out to play it momentarily. Don't be surprised if you see Montreal get very aggressive early. A very quick start to the first period. Ended up being a lopsided period in favor of New York. And then Stacy the equalizer, late in the second on the power play. Ujo tries to send it ahead for Montreal, but they shove down to the ice. Leah Lum sends it back, but they will get it down low, and Lafour plays it behind the net. With Lum is out there, number 12. She was a forward also. Great chance in front. Swept out of harm's way by Peyton Levis. So she has no problem with the dive down. She has no problem playing below the circles. Levis across for Jaguar, who tries a shot. It was blocked by Levis in front. Levis gets it back. Drives down the short side. Has it on her backhand. Tries to throw it out front. It sails through the crease. Good chance for the third line of New York. Now Bazal comes away with it. Levy, solid, especially with the glove all night long. 
Now it's Carpenter engaged in a lengthy battle with Dubois. Second time Montreal's thrown a puck in. Second time Levy's got a stick on it, and Montreal's come up with the puck. There's a shot from Saulnier, ends up tangled in the skates of Keppel. And the reason I bring that up is normally if the goalie gets a stick on the puck, it kills the dump in and doesn't allow the forechecking team to really get any steam. And Montreal's done a really good job following through, getting on the puck in the corner pretty quick and turning it over for an opportunity. Aaron Ambrose picks up the loose puck in the neutral ice. Sorted out by New York, and Abby Rock flings it off her back end and goes for a change. Vanishova off her back end, tried to feed Murphy in the slot. Puck knocked loose, and here comes Saulnier. Saulnier, as the rest of her team goes for a change, it's taken away by Daoud. <laughs> she looked up, so where is everybody? A lot of white jerseys out here. <laughs> Sand, I think we agree the color is sand. Sand, yes. Here. Here comes LaBelle, feeds it back for Vespa. She tries a shot that's loved and held by Dabian. Dabian once again, calm, cool, stares it down, gets out on top of the crease. Really nice play by Vespa here, pulls the string and gets a shot to the net. Dabian with no problem. Look at them as they gain the line, fill lanes, nice pick on the defenseman and create some space and Vespa can fire it through. Montreal wins the D zone faceoff. They turn over here as LaBelle picks up a loose puck. She gets taken down by Bujo. Now Vespa fighting for possession along the boards. Madison Packer trying to chip it free. She does so. Gets it back to LaBelle, but out of the zone for New York. Bourbonnet will try to turn it up once more. New York goes for a partial change. Montreal comes away with it. Nearly five minutes gone here in the third period. A two to one lead, but New York has not scored since late in the first period. Laura Stacy driving hard toward the net, takes it behind the net. And New York will come away with the puck, LaBelle. Sends it ahead. Keppel checks behind her. Looking for a passing lane and another battle in the corner. Back and forth we go in a tightly contested game. We expected nothing less. Three on two if they hurry and a shot kicked out. Saved by Levy. Multiple saves from the New York goalie and the crowd shows its appreciation. Another pad save. And we're gonna get a whistle, I think. They're sorting something out in the crease, but play continues. There's the whistle. New York wins the faceoff and a quick clear. Leah Lum will catch up to it deep in her zone, takes it behind the net, and waits for her team to set up. Here they come. Lum with speed through the neutral zone. Sends it across for Taven. Taven stops up. Brings it around the boards. There's Bate. She goes reverse. Dalton fighting for possession. Ella Shelton. And now Montreal back with it. Katie Taven feeds the point. Here's Lum with a drive deep and the glove save from Levy. We've seen this movie before. <laughs> nice track on the puck once again by Levy. Uses her size well. Really good luck by Tabin to Lum. And Lum does a really good job of getting this thing through. She was shooting just to get the puck towards the front of the net. I don't think she cared if she missed the net at all and had something come off the backboards. And nice job by Levy to not let that happen and shut the play down. Interesting, Corey Chevry talking about how New York is the one that just throws everything toward the net, hoping to create some chaos because their goalies are so good. Montreal's goalies. But so are New York's, as we're seeing tonight. I'll tell you what, league-wide, it's been really impressive. Ambrose passes across to Vanishova, and another save gobbled up by Levy. Walking in. 
deflected off, and Stacy will glove it down to herself, feeds the point back for Ambrose. Now Poulin thought about a shot, sends it over to Ambrose instead. Across for Vanishova, great passing, but a clear for New York, and an important one as they get some tired legs off the ice. When you keep your stick to the guts of the ice, killing penalties, and if you take away that seam pass, it does get some power play teams a whole lot of sorts. Time for one more push on the power play opportunity for Montreal. You hear the communication down there. Ambrose sends it across. Poulin, the shot, and it goes in! Marie-Philippe Poulin with the drive. Laura Stacy was right in front. It's Poulin with her seventh goal, and five of them have come against New York. Montreal gets this thing wheeling. Poulin is off to the far side of the screen, wide open, able to drive downhill, throws to the front of the net, and that might have gone off Stacy. But they've been trying to set this up all night. And yeah, I think that hit Stacy right in the thigh and went in the net as that puck might have been going wide. See it hit Stacy, and right in as Stacy plants herself now. I'm wondering if they're gonna go for a review here for Stacy being in the race. Sender interference. If you take a look at the replay, you will notice that Stacy's skates start to move towards the crease. Now here comes the shot. Stacy is right on top of the crease line. Does she interfere with the yes. goaltender's ability to make the save? Now, my Touches opinion. the stick. It, or sorry, the skate. Let's take one more look. They are the ready to make a decision call. Here. Oh, they just made the call. No goal. Goaltender interference. New York will keep the lead. What a pivotal moment in this game, and you can see where Stacy no is in disbelief. Letter of the law. Letter of the law. That's the right call. And if you're Abby Levy, you probably take a deep breath and say, okay, still got this. Yeah, Abby Levy, you're thinking, I didn't give up a goal. Good kill. <laughs> Solnier tries to play it, but not out. The power play is over for Montreal. Back to five on five, and a stretch pass here from Rock. Katie Taven catches up to it and sends it up for Dalton. Bouncing puck settled down by Rock. Has Solnier with her. Solnier was offside, had to tag up. Now Stacy gets it back, makes a move, looking for help. Got plowed into by Chris O'Neill. You're right, O'Neill making an impact on every shift. She'll hit anything, doesn't Literally. matter. <laughs> Abby Roth tries to ring it in deep, blocked by Loganier, and she'll hand it off to Bazal. Vanishova working in, has it on her back end, takes it hard to the leather. It's up, it's post, but a good goal, and you can see Levy immediately saying no. The call on the ice was made, it's a good goal. What a play, though. What a play by Vanishova. Like, these are plays that win championships. Drive the net hard, sacrifice the body, and there is the tap. Now, you can see the net off, but here's the thing. If the net coming off the post ever so slightly does not affect the fact that the puck was going to go in the net anyway, the goal should count. Two pivotal moments in a tight game, and they say good goal. Well, well, well. Maureen Murphy with her second of the season has tied this game at two. Land wins the draw. Oh, the the Four. Couldn't catch up to it. The turnover. Abby Rock with a blast that just went wide. Time of the goal is 28. Top line on the ice now for New York. Looking for a response as this game is now tied at two. Heavy hit by Jill Saulnier. And they play on as Bate goes to the bench. That puck nearly went into the Montreal bench. Jaguer comes away with it, sends it across for Hobson. It's all about how you respond in this game, and we will see how New York does now. Emma Woods across for the captain. I like the fact that Rock and Carpenter right back out there. Rock has been just a warrior tonight. Carpenter's been great. Solney has had a lot of jump, and that's a great line to put on after a goal against change tempo. Emma Woods will feed the point once more. Zandy Hart across now for Hobson. 
nearing the midway point of this third period, and things have changed here. 2 nothing lead after one. Both goals scored by Alex Carpenter. Laura Stacy with a goal for Montreal, and now tied up at two. What a chance! Jane Downing Landry, first shot denied by Davy Anson, traffic in front, and somehow it stays out. Shelton banks it along the boards, Downing Landry with a shove on Dahu. And Eldridge will try to settle things down for New York. Just past the midway point. Rana Fellman across with Cody Arard. And Ashoa lost his stick, kicking away at it. And Arard comes away with it. Two on two, and Ashoa without a stick. Here's Eldridge behind her net. Looking for a lane, tries a short side. Davian's down. There's Eldridge again. And Davian gets back up to glove that puck. Play continues. Well, a shot in the drive that just missed. Crowd getting involved now. Trying to will this team to its first win on home ice. Taylor Baker. Takes it behind the net, tries a short side, sealed off by Davian. Back for Zandy Hart. And LaBella drive, the puck is loose, Davian doesn't see it. And now finally, she covers up. Widely known as the best goalie in the game right now. Carpenter sends one high over the net. One that had Kazmaier while at Wisconsin back in 2017. It was actually a teammate of Abby Rocks. And they won a national championship. Wisconsin has just been a wagon. Then Minnesota, Clarkson's had a couple of real good years. Women's college hockey at the Division One level has really taken some major steps in the last few years. Percy Hurst under Mike Sisti had a real good team for a long time. Montreal on the rush there, but New York sends it the other direction, and both sides will go for a change. A lot of college hockey greatness on the ice in this league. And now we're seeing it at the next level, much to the delight of hockey fans everywhere. That's the old expression, you're not going to play hockey forever, so the college degree probably doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> Here's Chloe Lerard trying to make a move. Bazal defending it nicely. Now oh, another chance, sails wide, another shot, bouncing behind the net. Vanashova collects. Here comes Vanashova. The one who made the play happen, a kick saved by Levy. Vanashova has spent much of her time this season on that top line, but with Corey Chevry jumbling the lines, Vanashova saying, I can play anywhere. That, that's the beauty of a lot of players in this league who can play up and down through the lineup because they've done it throughout their career, whether it's they've been at the college level, national team level. Catherine Dubois skating in, sorted out by Baker. Here comes New York, Elizabeth Jaguer. As Peyton Levis with her, Jaguer takes down Dau. Some physicality ramping up here late in the game. Katie Tabin takes it away. And Levis gets it right back. Now Levis stops up along the goal line. Sends it up high for Baker. Baker across to Rock. She goes down low. Great passing. Looking for a tip right in front. Emma Woods was there. Couldn't connect. Woods is the one who made a little bit of a dive down on the wall to extend offensive zone time by 20 seconds or so. It's been a really good shift for her. She's attacked the puck. Abby Rock once more has it on her backhand. Fighting off Tabin. Rock looking for a lane to pass. Goes up for Hobson. Hobson slings it across. Bourbonnet a drive. Levis deflects it wide. Looks like Howie Draper has offered, opted rather, to shuffle his lines here late in the game. Here's Poulin. Poulin off her backhand, tried to find Stacy. Solnia comes away with the puck. Poulin goes back for Stacy once more. Cut off by Hobson. Now Stacy working around Hobson. Gets it back. 
from her knees makes the pass to Ambrose. Ambrose a drive and a bouncing puck settled down by Bourbonnais. Bourbonnais flings it out. Sorry, you're not in overtime right now, but you've got to have a little bit of an overtime mentality, and, and that is no shot's a bad one. Anytime you get a chance to drive the net and throw one to the front of the net, you do it. The next trick is just make sure that anytime you make a play to the net, you've got a lane that actually is open, so you're not putting one off a shin guard and fighting transition. Vanishova gets to the Lagunier, and her shot blocked on the way. Like that. Now Bazal looks to carry in, had to wait for her team to get onside. Bourbonnet chips it ahead. Eldridge tries to feed it across for Rock. Bonnie Landry over to Eldridge. She's in all alone, makes a move, and we're gonna get a penalty. This is gonna be a penalty shot. Nope. Could have been. <laughs> Watch for Carver to try to draw this back to Shelton quick and gets beaten by Glenn, and that's been fun to watch all night, those two going at it. Some of the best in the business when it comes to winning faceoffs. Here's a shorthanded chance. Poulan and Stacy, two on one. Here's Poulan. Over to Stacy. Tried to go back, and it was a great defensive play by Ella Shelton. Here comes Abby Rock. Setting up the power play once more. Shelton battling down low. Alex Carpenter gets it back, feeds a point. Top of the slot, the shot saved by Damian. Three great players involved in a two on one. Here comes Montreal, Poulain coming down the wall. Stop it right here for a second. So Stacy is sitting here in a great one time situation to get it to the front of the net where Poulain can drive if she wants, clear it. Instead, Stacy decides to go back, but she throws it back into the defensive stick of Shelton. Now Shelton thinking about a shot. Gets a new look. Sends it across to Rock. Rock. Carpenter waiting in the slot, deflected by Ambrose. And a clear for Montreal. Alex Carpenter coming into her own zone to chase it down. Katie Tabin collects, and she clears it. One minute gone on the New York power play. This game tied at two. Here's Downey Landry trying to carry in, and New York having a hard time setting up on the power play. Hobson gets shoved into the boards by Daou. Precious seconds winding down on the advantage, and Boulan with another clear the length of the ice. One thing I like about the Montreal PK, they're not afraid to throw play, three players outside the dot lane to layer on top of a puck and win a battle to get a clear, especially now in desperation time. Cut off by Jaguer, dangerous moment. But another clear for Montreal. 17 ticks to go on the power play. The crowd getting involved. Rooting on the home team, looking for its first win on home ice. Jade Downey Landry for Emma Woods. But it comes out to neutral ice. Power play over. And Davian standing up, makes a save, and decides to cover up. Big face off coming once again. Alex Carpenter wins it back for Eldridge, a shot. Puck is loose momentarily, and Aaron Ambrose will clear it out of harm's way. Two minutes to go here at UBS Arena as Carpenter's shot is fought off by the blocker of Davian. Here's a battle won by Rock on the wall to set that up. Big collision between Keppel and Carpenter. Here's Murphy, save, rebound loose. Murphy again. And what a stop for Levy. Ah, oh, the athleticism of the big goaltender, Levy, and a big save. Back comes Shelton. Shelton carries in. Leaves for Carpenter. Shelton down low. Looking for a lane. Goes down for Solnier. Now short side, Jesse Eldridge trying to get a hold of the puck. And Taven comes away with it. Katie Taven has Stacy with her. Taven takes it herself. And a great defensive play by Downey Landry to fling it out to the neutral zone. New York gave Montreal no space. Great track back, great sort out. And Montreal had nothing to do with the puck wide. Luke Hobson sorts out that puck. Loose right in the slot. Stacy feeds Dalton. Dalton shot off the post! Wow, a couple of 
great A looks for Montreal. And we stay tied. Here comes Murphy with a great opportunity. And Levy with a chance, and she is able to cover for a second. And then the goalie's best friend gets a little ring ding right here on a point blank chance off a turnover. And that didn't miss by much. 45.8 seconds to go. Will either team come away with three points? Or will we need overtime? That's the question. Back to the point. Keppel across for Ambrose. Ambrose over to Dalton. Dalton skating in. Tried to center the pass. And now a battle down low. Stacy trying to chip it free. New York comes away with it. Abby Rock. Another battle. Dalton now below the goal line. Zandy Hart for Rock, who plays it ahead for Eldridge. Ella Shelton, Carpenter with her. Shelton looking for a pass instead of Poulin. Here's Poulin. Poulin makes a move off her backhand and just goes wide. Keppel a drive and a last second save for Levy. We go to overtime. We shall see how it all shakes out. This, by the way, the fourth straight overtime game New York has played. I don't know if there's something to it, The Carpenter has back-to-back -back overtime winners and has two goals tonight. A neat way to finish off a hat trick. Keep an eye on that. It's all about possession now. It's just it's about being smart with the puck. It's about possession and finding the play you want. Poulin has it. Stacy with her. Poulin a drive. Shot saved by Levy. <laughs> what a stop. And what a play by Poulin. Three on three, lots of ice. Look at a quick cut. Gets on her edges, quick cut through. Nice traffic to the front of the net by Montreal to clear out that space. And Levy stays right with her, uses her size, and that catch glove has been tremendous tonight. One of the best goal scorers there is. She just stoned her. Ella Shelton now comes away with the puck. We said it all about possession in the three on three. Plenty of open ice. Ella Shelton skates in, now stops up. Feeds Abby Rock at the top. Over to Carpenter. Carpenter back for Rock. Rock over to Carpenter. Carpenter just missed the pass for Shelton. Stacy collects. Back comes Montreal. Poulin says she needs a change. Wisely goes for it. Some fresh legs on the ice. It's O'Neill with Stacy and a save by Levy. Behind the play, Rock wanted a change. Bench wasn't ready for her. Some tired legs, and Abby Rock does get that change, as does Shelton. Carpenter's still on the ice. And there she goes. Zandy Hart collects for New York. Zandy Hart over to Eldridge. Eldridge has her shot blocked by Taven. Gets it back. Eldridge off her back and kicked out by Davian. Zandy Hart over to Downey Landry. Downey Landry, leaves for Eldridge. Eldridge tried to make a move, sticks with it. Zandy Hart gets it back from the left circle. Tried the centering pass, it goes behind the net. Zandy Hart, looking for a lane, goes up top for Eldridge. Eldridge is tired. Doesn't like it. Calls for a change, and we'll get it back. Dangerous pass, Carpenter on the ice. Her shot just over the top of the net. Rebound chance, and Davian slides over. Carpenter gets it back. Eldridge, all Eldridge wanted to do was get off the ice. <laughs> and as she's going to the bench, Carpenter jumps on a second change. Eldridge sauces a backhand to the most dangerous player out there. Vanishova takes it behind the net. Now over to Poulin. Ambrose has it. Ambrose, stick handles. Feeds it back for Vanishova. She leaves for Poulin. Poulin, lost a handle on it. Vanishova gets it back. Over to Poulin. Crunched along the board by Rock. The crowd sends its appreciation, and Vanishova 
sets up once more. Hulan over to Vanishova. Vanishova trying to connect with Ambrose. And there's Abby Rock as the crowd gets into it once more. Good job by Rock allowing her team to change. Ella Shelton onto the ice with Downey Landry. 140 to go in the extra session. Will we need a shootout? Here's Shelton. Shelton drops off for Eldridge. Eldridge tries to connect with her teammate Ella Shelton. Montreal comes away with it. Laura Stacy's in all alone, but Eldridge forces the turnover. Here's Eldridge. Eldridge couldn't get a shot off a diving Katie Tabin was in the way. Back to New York. Eldridge, oh, had it taken away. It's a race by two very tired players. And Downey Landry does the reverse for Zandy Hart. Where's Howie Draper? You're looking at that last situation, and your heart's getting a little oh, upset. Goodness, leaving way out of her crease. Aaron Ambrose in the final minute of overtime. Aaron Dalton and O'Neal with her. There's O'Neal. As we're on the blue line, held in. Now passes off to Dalton. Katie Taven just missed the pass. And Zandy Hart. Rudy! Rudy! Will go for a change. Here's Emma Woods. Rub down. Claire Dalton. It's a two-on-one. Poulin! The shot saved by Levy! Poulin gets it back. Goes over to Dalton. Dalton. Leaves for Taven. Back over to Dalton. Dalton the shot. Gobbled up by Levy. These goalies have been excellent in the overtime session. Oh, they have been great. And the big time players have gotten some big time chances. This is the play I talked about earlier. All Elgin wants to do is go for a change and she sauces one to Carpenter, who gets a chance and a second chance. And then Montreal with their most dangerous score. Poulain gets a chance and blocker saves on both ends. Will we see the hat trick of overtime winners in the next eight seconds? Let's find out. Poulain loses the draw to Abby Rock. Important win for Rock in New York. The time winding down, Carpenter, a late drive, does get it on goal, but JBN says no. Overtime is not enough. Let's go to a shootout. Here she goes. Picks up the puck, weaves down the left side. Stops up, makes a move, and saved by Damien. So as the puck hit the hash marks, Davian's heels were just above the crease, so she was in a great spot. The key here is if you're walking laterally, if you're Davian, don't give up the short side too quick because you can't get back to it. And she forced the shot to the far side. She was all over it. Poulin will look to put her team on top in the shootout. Drives down the right side now. Oh, fan on the shot. I can't believe it. Well, there's not something out of bet on. Poulin comes in, I like the idea. She's gonna try to get, leave it open the wickets late and slip it through and just couldn't hold on to it. Here's Alex Carpenter, looking to give New York the lead in the shootout. In with speed, Carpenter missed the net. So her plan with the speed to come in was to try to push Debian back and create a race to where open space happened. She had the top and just couldn't hit it, nice idea. Teresa Vanashova on now for Montreal. She comes in. Left circle. She couldn't get a shot off either. Levy is just intimidating them all. It's that size. Here comes Vanashova. Levy's in a great spot. The puck just slides off the stick of Vanashova. Sometimes when you get to your backhand and you don't have anything, you can outthink yourself as you're doing it. The puck slides away. Here's Abby Rock. Collects the puck, goes right to left, makes a move and scores! Abby Rock puts New York on top in the shootout. This was all business. Straight ahead, speed, violence in the release. What a goal. 
Now you can go back to your best players multiple times in these rules, so it's Blue Lamb once again. This time it's with speed. She takes the shot, saved by Levy. Glenn 0 for 2, here's Carpenter's second attempt. Carpenter skating down the left side. What a move, and she roofs it! Alex Carpenter with a beauty in the shootout. Poetry in motion. Look at it, just beautiful stride, attacks the net, push the goalie back. Great stick control. Now Laura Stacy. On to try to keep this shootout alive. Has to score here. It's Stacy. Off her back in. Stick handling in. And a great save by Levy. Pat save and a beauty. New York, New York. They have their first home win of the season. Abby Levy, the star in the shootout. It's a 3-2 game.